What's going on everybody? So in my last Empire video, I did an Empire Claude and I wanted to show you guys a build that is going to be consistent every time. You can do it every game and you're gonna do decent. I am using Eva, the little deer as a commander. I've just been having fun with her lately. It's just, you know, added bonus when you get to six of six on any build you do really, you can use her if you'd like. Except for maybe like marksmen, because they, I mean, they don't really need defense. But it can still be used to make, you know, Freya pretty much unkillable <laughs> if you get a marksman rune on her. Anyways, we uh, will get right into it. And in this video, I did end up getting a three-star Natalia. And if you guys can get a three-star Natalia with an Empire Synergy, six out of six. I mean, as you'll see here, she is just unkillable. It's... it's and Empire is one of those builds that is maybe maybe the most fun build to to watch you know when it when you get it completed and watch what it kind of does to the enemy so it's really enjoyable to build like this so starting out here we're going to risk a little bit of hit points uh, we want an item, we want a life steal, a physical or magical life steal because we are not going to have three fighters in there. Now looking for any Empire heroes, we're looking for Diggy because we want to get some money going. But no Diggy. Thane, Thane of course is going to be core hero. And, you know, any Empire hero, which really they're... You know, there's not much choosing. You kind of have to get any p Empire heroes you see, just grab them. And since Gushin and Lancelot are obviously two assassins, once you throw in the Natalia, there's three assassins, and the build is, I mean, it's pretty much complete. So it's a very simple build. You just need one other tank. You can see that here I got Lolita, and... I don't know, I, I think most people think it is harder than it actually is to do an Empire build. But it's it's really, it's not that hard and it's super effective. Now, looking, you can always look out for a Harith. One thing I like to do is if I get a Harith early and I'll look at everyone else's comp and if nobody is buying a Harith, she is literally one of the easiest heroes to three star because of course she's one gold but if if nobody else has her and she's the only reason people would have her if they're doing mage builds but some sometimes most mages i mean not most but just depending on who you're playing don't even use harith so in this video i don't think i did three star her but it's one of the things I wanted to mention that she is a easy unit to three star, and I would say an Empire Harith is, you know, the strongest Harith there could be. Like stronger than a six mage Harith, it it just is a really effective unit with Empire. Now, one thing you'll notice it's decent at the start. Empire is decent like throughout, but it's not going to be really effective until you get your six empires in there. So I'm I'm gonna swap out the Harith here, put in my diggy that I just got. Now now we have gold going. And since I don't really have any Harith copies, I'm just going to focus on upgrading my commander because I want to be able to get Odette and Guinevere as soon as possible. And they are more expensive, so you need to be upgrading your commander in order to receive them. Now, mana boots are always, always should, really any build, you should pick them unless you're doing marksman. You want to get the physical attack, uh, attack speed bonus boots. But mana boots are you know, superb with this build also because you can throw them on Natalia, you can throw them on Harith, you can put it on Thane. Like it's going to, they're going to work in your favor either way, like any hero you do. So I'm going to get the clone. I'm going to get the life steal there because I already have mana boots. So let's see, we got the Guinevere at 
pretty pretty early, which is nice. So we'll just keep her in the back there because we still want to get more gold from the Diggy and Chow until it is time to swap them out for the Six Empire. A Lancelot, I mean, he does extremely well also. Just that Empire just makes it, I mean, you know, obviously Empire is taking their mana away when they attack. And they still do decent amount of damage too, so it's, it's very nice. But the main thing is, like, once you get six out of six, your goal is pretty much to make them not be able to use their ultimates, you know, use their special attacks at all. So placement's going to be important. And I would definitely, definitely not use a Johnson because that is going to mess everything up because the team is going to come and attack you when you have them placed like that. You know, you have them coming to you, but if you have Johnson, you're going to be coming to them and it's going to mess everything up. As you'll see when I put Guinevere, when I switch her for the, where Diggy is at, it, it makes all the difference. It wasn't me who chose King of Light. Now, we were able to obtain two Natalias here, which is superb because we have that clone. So I can clone her whenever I get the room for her put her in and she just works so well with empire guys because you're you're already taking their mana away and she's going to be silencing also so it just it really is a build that is in sync you know with each other plus you get the three three assassin boost and attack speed that is already built in so with this build, you it is does not require an Empire rune. It does not require an Assassin rune. Obviously, like if you do, are I mean if you are able to get one, go ahead and swoop it. It's going to make building it a little bit easier. But in this game, I'm going to do seven out of seven Empire just to show you that you know there is room. You can you can complete this build without having any you know any synergies which makes it a consistent build you know you can complete it every time and that's that's really the builds that are going to allow you to rank up you know get more points and just fit, you know build that you can complete every time without relying on a synergy room. so it's you know it's really great now, I have the two, Natalia to two stars, so I went ahead, I threw my items on her, put the lifesteal on her. Here, it looks like I took her out just for... No, no, I didn't take her out. That was the other one. <laughs> but now we have six to six, so you can just see how they are not able to attack. That Wan Wan wasn't even able to get her ultimate off. Mm. Empire vs. Dragon Altar is going to be the hardest, you know, build that you can go against. Because once they have their shield effect, it negates the Empire effect. But if you have enough damage to pass through that initial shield, then it will work. So that's why you want to make sure when you're doing this build to get your heroes decently leveled. I mean, right now they're not even, but late game you want to have everything you know a two star you don't have to have a three star like i said earlier always be watching out for those harris you know early game like right now i would not be worried about a harris but if it was when my commander was like you know level four level five if you can it's a very easy hero to three star now i am going to get the aurora because in this build, without the Empire synergy, you can have three mages. Because you already have the Harith, and you already have... What else do we... What's the other mage, guys? Um, Harith. Oh, yes, the Odette. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, a little slow there for a second. But Harith and Odette are already two heroes that are in your lineup. 
So you can just add one mage on, whatever mage you want. I like Aurora because it's just more crowd control. It kind of sinks in with the build and how it already is, you know, silencing, taking mana. So it's really going to CC lock them. I went ahead and threw that clone on Natalia. Now we have a three star Natalia at a very early stage in the game. So obviously some good rolls here. And you know, obviously I wanted to show this game because you get to see how effective she is. Because she, look how constantly she is using her ultimate. Because once you have six of six empire, every time you hit, you're not only stealing their mana, but you're regenerating it when you do. So she's going to be using her ultimate like crazy. Now you can see here that I threw in the Odette just to show you how how there is room, like, you know, how you can complete this every time without even having a Empire rune, which is kind of crazy. It's a super strong build that I used to use a lot and it's a build that you don't see many people using, which is, I mean, in other servers, you'll see it a lot more. Like if I go play with my Indonesian friends, I'll see it a lot more. But in NA, it's, you know, in the US server, it's really not used much. So I encourage you guys to give it a shot. Magic lifesteal, any, any lifesteal item is going to be, you know, physical or the magical is going to be useful. You can put it on Odette or you can put it on Guinevere. Like they're both going to work very well with it. Guinevere, if you can get her the life steal and maybe like a defense item, she is going to be super tanky and she's going to be unleashing her ultimate and stunning them out a ton. But it looks like in this case, I just put it on Odette. You're gonna see how much damage she can do because her ultimate, like she just popped it and she's literally doing it just a few seconds later because of the Empire Synergy. And not only is she doing damage when she does her ultimate, but she's stealing mana from the opponent. So now we have the three mages in, which the Synergy works very well. And I this, this game I used a Lolita as my extra tank, but you can also use Baxia. And once you get the three mages in, he will be doing extra damage also because he's a mage. And Gushin is a mage. Thane is a mage. So they're pretty much all mages. So they're going to benefit once you throw that last mage in. And you have room for you have room for the mage too with completing your you know full 6 out of 6 empire synergy. Now you can see Natalia just literally cannot die i have the hit points helmet on her because you know that was just an item that i had you could put damage on her definitely one item that would be good would be the item that gives you a shield when you're lower hit points this build is very effective even if you're going versus like a marksman freya it can allow her not to you know proc again so she'll have the first initial proc, of course, because of the veil. But then after that, you know, she's not going to be getting any more shields. So it, I mean, it counters any and every build if, if you can get good at it and make sure your heroes are decently leveled, which just really means getting them to level two. I understand that these heroes are a little bit more expensive, and it's a little bit more difficult build, but once you guys get it down, it is very, very effective. Now here we are versus a six assassin team with a level three Maya who has an assassin emblem on him. So there, it's a very strong team, but we are, you know, they're not able to use their ultimates. Oh, it looks like they only have. Okay, they have three of three assassins. They have four cyborgs, so all of them have more hit points. They have the crit Maya in the back, but they're just not able to, you know, they're not able to use their skills on us. All that they have is Maya in the back, but her assassins are so strong that they're going to take care of her. 
and you can see the Lancelot and the Karina just aren't even able to use their attacks. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you.